in the background. I think. <laughs> no one's here yet, but we're live now. But uh, we are here. I'm going to see if anybody shows. Don't know if it will, but don't know if they won't. This is the way it works. And I want to try do something. Pause that one and then like and share. It'll work, but I can try share my own video. There's, okay, we got Fowlers here. All right. How you guys? How you doing, Nicole? How you doing, B Fowler? And Cliff, how you doing? Still a ghost in the Matrix. Is that the new Matrix movie or the old one? I can't sp spell you. Okay. <laughs> well, as I, you know, the title says, this is an unboxing video. The one I got from. Not sure how well you can see that, but I'm going to do that without showing off the addresses. But there you go. <laughs> This has got some heft to it. What do you got in here, Cliff? This thing is got some weight to it. Huh? It's got a little yeah, bit. I know. Of, okay. I took it out of the bag. Do it on Dorpus. Okay. Okay. Wormhole. <laughs> Okay, I got the trusty box knife out. It's mad blurry, and no one's going to see the address. Oh, okay. So they just do a quick... And yeah. Okay. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Grace. How you doing? Got a box. I got the, finally got the, the prize I won from Cliff. Come all the way from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Beautiful place. Been through there. Most peaceful place I've ever been. Next to Yellow River. So, if you're ready for me to unbox this, just say, hey, I, me, 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 or something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? Good thing I put packing paper in the box. Well, I'll find out in just a bit. I wish I had something. Oh, second. I've got a little place to put this. Let's see if I can get this up here on here. Sorry about that. Man, enough tape to last for days. Okay, here we go. Let's get her done. Okay, here we go. Opening up here. I haven't even opened this up yet, so this is all good. Hey, we get some local news from the Upper Cookie Papers. Holy cow, you really packed this thing. Okay, what do we got? Oh, that is cool. Hey, hun. Nice. Oh, we're going to see what the, what's going on in Apple Cookie? No, that's okay. Okay. 
Oh. Okay, what's what's what was this? I didn't know I won this. Oh, I've heard about these. This is freaking cool. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, the taping job. That's 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 okay. But I didn't know I didn't even realize this uh, Oh, I got, folks, give me a second here. I got, see, I'm not sure well you guys can see this, but this is what he got for me. It's got a bunch of stuff in there. I had him, again, it's got some a lighter, steel wool, four char cloth, tea light candles, ferrocium rod striker, pocket magnifier, matches, magnesium capsules, fatwood sticks, foil paper, pencil sharpener. Four cotton tinder tabs, jute twine, waterproof tinder balls, wire saw, Kevlar thread, flange bearing, folding knife, and survival information sheet. That is really cool. Along with this, which I'll put on right now because I took my old one off just for this purpose. And thank you for the rubber bands. I can definitely use those too for my hair. <laughs> I don't need to buy rubber bands now, huh? Got some new ones. <laughs> Jenny says thank you. <laughs> he also gave me some extra of these, huh? This will allow me, you know, you never have too much paracord. Oh, this is a little different than the one I got. I like this feel on this one. Let's see here. Give me a second here. I get in there. Okay, there we go. There we go. See, thank you. That is amazing, Cliff. I like it. I will say though, it is just a titch big, but I can make it work. Who knows? I might even put one, put one on my ankle. Who knows? Zipper pulls. Okay, I've got. My uh, backpack, I can put those on. I love the the clasp on here. I got that on the small side, too. Okay, see? That's nice. I like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, they go like that, right? Okay, I got two of those. Yeah, that's true. It's okay. I do wear green a lot. <laughs> I'm a Green Arrow fan. Yeah, you know, even my hat. Yep, that'll work. Like I said, if I have to, I can wear it on my on my ankle. <laughs> true. So I'm not even sure if it would fit my ankle, but I can always find out. Because when I hike, it doesn't, you know. If I can't take it off, that means it's big enough, see? <laughs> oh. oh, just a little bit. But I will wear this religiously until I'm told not to wear it. Oh, it won't fit my ankle, so just my wrist. It'll work, and I will wear it. If I just remember not to drop that. Oh, that is cool. I like that. My other one is a little um, different than this, but not by much. It's okay, Nicole. Don't worry about it. Yeah, me too. The one I usually wear, I've had for over uh, almost a year. And it was originally silver plated, but now it's all copper because it's kind of 
because you know, I sweat in it and all that stuff. I attached it to my backpack, my day pack. So, okay, I feel like an idiot. I dropped this thing three times now, or four times. I'm not sure which. Definitely got to look into that that boss kit because that thing looks amazing. I've seen them, never actually. Okay, I'm up to five. Five times I've dropped this. Even though I just had it on. Well, be well, Blake. Thanks for coming. Talk to you soon about the, you know, the, see how the arrows are coming. Okay, got it. Let's see if I can get this thing to clasp on here. Okay, well, I get in there. Okay, maybe I'm doing this wrong. I think I got it. Ah, yes. See, you got it. This is amazing. I'm gonna see what we got here. Sorry, putting it up. Ugh. It's an unbagging video too. Never have too many fire starter kits. Oh, man, this, this is sweet. Look at the size of that ferro rod. Look at that. That's pretty good size. I would try it, but my wife would kill me. She doesn't like me starting fires in the house. She kind of frowns upon it. Yep. I've done uh, cosplayed as Green Arrow at several, well, two or three uh, Comic Cons. <laughs> I've got a little one in my pocket just like this. That's actually pretty cool. I carry that on a daily basis, too. I even like the waterproof bag it comes in. Oh, wow. That's really, that's cool. This is all fat wood. This is really freaking cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I'm assuming that is the, what is that? Kevlar thread, I think. Okay, I'll, let me check that real quick. Um, I'm just going to wiggle it. I'm not going to tr try it until I go outside. Well, it seems pretty solid. I'll find out about the striker and everything as soon as I get done here. I'll have to go outside, but nice length. Just got to make sure the Okay. It's got a little thing that says up, and it's got little millimeter marks on here. It's pretty, that's a pretty long, too. It's about as long as my finger. Uh, really? <laughs> yes, that was my wife. She just got done slamming a soda. Waterproof matches. Oh, Yukos. Okay, we got some Yuko waterproof matches. Jute twine, never go wrong with those. That's a that's a beefy wire saw. That's pretty cool. I am at IMF striker. I'm not familiar with those, but I'll have to try it when I get done here. That way I can go outside. Otherwise, my wife might get mad at me. I could do something in, in the fire pit. Oh, there's the survival information it gave me. It said it had. Oh, my enemy of my enemy is the bow drill fire. I am terrible at that. 
I need to practice that one. Okay, it says before you... Okay, I, I've got to go read through this. Okay. I dropped something on the ground here. Hold on. Please forgive me. I don't know what it is, but I'll find out. It's got... Oh, that's... Oh, that's cool. Fresno lens. Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of cool. I, I've been wanting to get one of these. This is definitely going in my wallet. I've been wanting one of these. Oh, light my fire. Okay. That kind of reminds me of something I picked up the other day. Well, actually, I should say a couple weeks ago. Um, with my boy at a local shop. I'm not sure if you guys remember this or not. Give me a second. I picked up a Light My Fire fire starter. I didn't think they even made these anymore. I thought they were discontinued. But I got a nice green one, which is kind of suits my stuff, but it says, it says, I'm not sure if you could read it. It says Light My Fire right there. Um, um, we just need to. I just need you to get the time and just sit and practice a lot of this stuff. I haven't had, you know, the patience to sit around and do stuff like that. Oh, wet fires, one of the best tenders on the market. Steel wool, okay, good fire starter. Char cloth. I actually have some more char cloth pretty much everywhere. Candles, good choice, always good. This is the cotton, I think. Cotton, cotton tinder tabs. Definitely gonna put all this stuff back in. Okay, here's the knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. The little blade right there. That's pretty sharp. Cheers. Ooh. Definitely shaving sharp. That's pretty cool. Definitely get some curls for that with that. Some magnesium pow powder pills tabs. Those are pretty cool. And a oh okay a bearing thing for like a, for like the uh, bow drill fires. Bearing block and a the um, pencil sharpener for tinder things. So that's pretty cool. Definitely gonna have to practice the bow drill. That's the, my main nemesis, I should say, because I tried it multiple times and did nothing but break out in a sweat. I can see that. I I, I do like the little ones. I've got a re two really big pieces of fat wood, but this is a lot more compact and easier to work with. This right here is going in my wallet, so I'm going to keep a hold of that. that I'm keeping it here. That's tender. Just need to get a little battery to add to this one, which would be really nice to have. Okay, the Teflon... The te the, the, um, what was that again? Uh, that is the Kevlar thread. I'm not sure what to use the Kevlar thread for. Hey, Tyler. Long time no see. Look what Cl Cliff got me. He got me one of these. As well as that. And a couple tabs for my string poles and a whole bunch of stuff. It's like an amazing little kit. Thought about getting one of these, but I just never thought I would. This is an amazing thing. You are so awesome, Cliff.
Oh, okay. That makes sense. I understand completely, Tyler. Been there, done that. Oh, okay. I would have I would have used the, the jute twine or one of my um uh boot strings because I switched out the uh shoestrings of my boots for paracord and I would use those. Dermasafe.com. That's a pretty little solid plastic thing. Okay, can you open it up all the way? Or is it just that's about as far as it goes? About that far. Well, if you if you need a a break or anything like that, Tyler, you guys can always come down here and hang out here if you want. Jeep blew up. Oh, well, you need a you need to come up, you know, someone to come up and get you if you guys can just you know get away from home for a bit. Huh. His Jeep blew up. Oh man! The thing about around. yeah, that Jeep's been going. That Jeep thing's been going around. If you need any help, just let me know, dude. Not enough jerky, Cliff. That's probably what it is. What was this one? I didn't even open this one up. Or is this was the one I was holding onto the oh the foil? Okay, what's the, what's the foil for? Foil paper. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, if you need help, Tyler, let me know. I can help you look. That'll probably transfer a lot of this into this. So that Keep things going. I want to put a ferrule rod in this one spot. I think this would be a perfect spot for it. That works. It fits right there in my fire kit. That's pretty cool. I'm going to start packing this thing up. All right, I picked this up for like three bucks at a secondhand store. This has got everything I need. I want to put some lighter in there. Or those. That one. There. <laughs> you okay, hon? Well, like I said, Tyler, if you need anything, just let me know. I'll help out where I can. Come kidnap you and the little guy, little one, and we can just, you know, make a day of it or something. That. Uh, let's see. I gotta figure out where to get in here. I'll figure it out. Yeah, I've got a lot of char cloth that you guys can see. Make my own. Got an old. Uh, Crangler bandage for the military that they use to make a, my char cloth with, with, with the Altoids 10. 
I will definitely do that. I'll be definitely putting it to use this year up at Yellow River on my backpacking trip. And I can never, and I always say I never can have too many of these ferro rods, and that's just the other one I bought. But this one here is easier to see. I won't be able to lose that one very well. And I'll keep everything packed up tight in here. Just got to do some rearranging. Be well, Bobby. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Hey, Ramsey, how you doing? Okay. So I need to up transferring some of this in. Definitely going to see if I think I have on my thing here. Let's see if I actually have you in order. Yeah, I'm already subscribed. Okay, that's cool. Tyler, I'm not sure if you've seen one of these boss kits, but these things are freaking sweet. 33 pieces. Now i got to figure out how I'm going to combine all this into what I already have, which is going to be interesting. Got room. So empty it out, put it all in there. There's something we need to test out up there at our get together, Tyler. Wire saw. Try out taking down a tree with that. Let's see here. This. Oh, I did. Put that right there. Sorry for looking down, folks. Oh, good. I, I, I will put that there because it's a, it's a good place for it. I, I was t contemplating possibly um, wrapping it around the little um, lighter, maybe. You know, I figured it would be a good place to wrap it around there because I'm already putting it in my wallet or my in here anyway. So I just figured I could just wrap it around this. And I like the fact that it's got a little zip tie right there to keep it from going off. That's a reliable little bit. Uh, I know you guys can't really see this, but my keyboard is completely covered right here. And I'll attach these two zipper poles onto my backpack. Actually, I have to put one, one of these on my regular backpack and this one, and this one's gonna go on my day pack. That way I'll have them both covered. Yeah, that fits in there better than that other one. If it's a good one, do a review on it. I will do a review on it if it works. I mean, I've never been up on wire saws that much. Um, but these actually have, you know, little, like, I guess... Um, swivels on them i'm not sure how well you can see that see, see the size of that swivel right there right there so that means they shouldn't you know they should spin fairly these free as long as you go slow enough not to overheat it that cause it to snap but i've already just used wire saw this one here is like a braided style i'm not sure how well you guys can see this but that's that's pretty sweet
Yep. <laughs> I'll wrap it around the lighter, just not make sure not to lose the lighter. I'm actually thinking about doing that before I put it up. But I'll keep the everything in the bag. And the bag's going this bag is going in here. And looks like it's strapped to my my belt or my pack, depending on how I want to do it, because it's got the Molly webbing on the back. It's, it's pretty cool. Buck saw configuration. Okay. Um, one stick, one on each end, then do it that way. Okay. I think that might be in the... Let's see. Is that in here? Um, nope. It doesn't mention that here, but I will try that and see if that works. I've seen them. I've just never tried it with you know, a bug saw configuration. Tyler, is Tyler still here? If he's here, do you know anything about him? Let's see. Is Tyler still here? Let's find out. Nope. Tyler is no longer here. It's just the three of us, you know. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, that makes sense. I don't want to bind it. I mean, when it binds it, that means it'll cause it to heat up, and which means at a weak point, I believe. All the cheesy little ones I've gotten from like survival knives and, you know, like. The old Rambo style stuff they used to do, sell out of comic books and things like that when I was a kid. Okay. Wow, they weren't kidding. Might mind getting a bunch of this and making bowstrings out of. So we get this thing untangled here. Okay, got it. I'm gonna wrap that around here. Just wrap it like I do a bowstring. So this is what I would do anyway. Oh, um, yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. So have, have you uh, used one of these kits yourself, Cliff? I can understand that. Oh, you can't really see that, but this is what I'm doing. I get to a point that I just slide it down. I am planning on adding one item to this kit that might help is maybe a one of my leather needles and I think that would make a good addition to make it a little bit extra I guess.
Well, yeah, but not everybody has a burrito salt, Tyler. Okay, how much do Burrito 21s cost? I don't actually have a folding saw of any kind. Okay. I can probably get a Fiskars cheaper than that, but I'm not sure if Fiskars would, be, you know, hold up for what it, you know, is needed for or not. But they all look the same to me, to be honest. But that doesn't mean anything because I've never used one, so I can't really say one way or the other, to be on, on that. Excuse me, I'll be right back. i got to go find something. Okay, sorry about that. But got needle to go with this stuff. I never figured it wouldn't hurt to have something on here. Just gonna slide it down here, and hopefully I don't stab myself. That would be bad. Dang, isn't it? So I wrap it up into it. Okay, that's cool. Tyler, have you used the Fiskars at all or just your Boreal? Okay, what are the extra clips and pins for? Yeah, I feel 
Ramsey, how much was your uh, Fiskars? I haven't looked at one recently. Unless I go on Walmart or over to True Value. I can find one of those over there. Give me a second. Best SUV four by four. Okay. Well, it depends on what your budget is, actually, Tyler. I mean, I don't know what how much you're thinking about spending. It depends on what you're going to find. Um, you try looking on Facebook. I don't know if they actually have that many or anything like that. But... Um, it's possible. Sorry, I just, um, um, are you looking for a specific year? Trying to go through a dealership. Um, you could try the the Newton. What was the name of the place we got my truck on? Newton. Cars. Yeah, Newton Cars over in Newton, Tyler. Oh three and up. Okay, that helps. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. What do I got? Ugh. I'm. I'm gonna. I'll take a look. Um, I don't see how I can try that one. Let's see here. It's called Newton Cars. Um, they don't have a website um, that I can. Let me see here. 
they have a listing for carsforsale.com. I'll, I'll post the link, of, you know, of what they have. And maybe give me a second here. Here we go, Tyler. That's what I found. Try that one. That might help. Um, they seem to have a few SUVs. He had a 2004 Grand Cherokee, Columbia Edition. They have, <laughs> yeah, you don't want that one. Um, a 2003 Chevy Suburban. Uh, oh, no, he does. They don't have a lot at the moment. It just depends on what you're you're looking for. Toyota Tacoma. I I didn't see one of those. Yeah, three Dakota. Three. Nope. They don't have <coughs> any of those in the. Toyotas. They have a, a 2008 Ford Expedition ELXLT. Do you want an automatic or do you want a manual? Because all these right now are running about automatics. Let's see here. They have a, um, <laughs> yeah, that one's out. Um, we got a Honda C, CRVXL, whatever. The Chevy Suburban. It's like I said, it's, it all depends on your price range. But I'm sure you've already looked at the link already. But that's where I got mine. But they do have at least one one Jeep on there. And it's the, um, where's it at? Just saw it. Yeah, the Jeep Grand Cherokee Columbia Edition. Get a Subaru. <laughs> I, I'm not even sure if they even had Subarus there. Um, I didn't see it on the list. But unless you really want to save some, you know, get get a smart car, then go for that. But <laughs> I would even touch it with a tempo pole. They do have a really nice Ford F-150 XLT 2008 four x four, which is really nice. Four. Door. Oh, cool, Nicole. We got a mechanic family in the house. That's just cool. Can I go with that anymore? Hey, hon. Check this out. For zipper poles. 
I got a green theme going here, if you notice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, kind of figured Tyler's truck was on its last legs. I think with the magnet kind of did it. Oh yeah, we had we had a Jeep. It seized the uh, uh, the engine on us, so that's why we ended up getting our our Pontiac Montana. And then I then I found my um, my Ford F one fifty at Newton Cars, where I just posted the link to. Um, got lucky with that one for just nine ninety nine ninety nine. In 99 cents. No. Oh, just an even? Oh, okay. Well, I, I stand corrected. 9.99 even. Okay, what's the uh, highest mileage you want to go, Tyler? Because it does have a link on how much mileage you want on there. Because mine's got over 240, and it runs pretty decent. Hey, Drakes, how you doing? I'm going to do this for Drake because I want to. And we're going to add moderator. Anybody else in there? Okay. Yeah, they only have one Jeep listed here. <laughs> they do have a big uh, cargo van if you wanted to go with a Ford 98 Ford E350 XLT, but <laughs> that's only if you want to do the extreme things. But I don't really see anything really low on miles. Okay. <sighs> Please forgive me about the yawning. It's been a long day. Got this thing almost packed here. That's going to my wallet. Ah. I don't want to preview this or anything. Where am I at? Cancel. Okay.
Wow. So you're looking for a Toyota 4Runner. Okay, let me see here. Sorry. That's cool, Drake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nope, wrong one. That's not what I wanted to copy. I don't know why I did that. That should work. That should be working. Sorry. Let's see if that works now. There we go. Try that. Check that one out, Tyler. That might be something a little bit in your price range. But it's, <laughs> I'm not sure if you'd really want to go after it, though, because I just realized where it's coming from. Because that's not where I asked it to be from. So. <laughs>
I should try to find something with for that the price range he was asking and no can't find anything except that one yeah I didn't look at that part Tyler I just just looking Well, it is sold as is on that Jeep. And if it runs, it's not bad. Well, like I said, I got lucky on Yes, it needs work. Yes, it's not perfect, but I like it. And there's just my my new fire kit. Everything's going in there. Uh, just about. That's about it. I don't think I got anything else to put in there. That's going up. This is going in my wallet. I don't think I have anything on the floor. All right. I can just zip it up. Throw in a little 9 volt battery and I'm ready to rock my fire kit. There's my little fire kit, folks. It's kind of hard to see because it's black, but two main pouches, two secondary pouches here. Like I said, I've got the Molly attachments on the back. And now that Cliff has pretty much kitted me out to the nth degree, which is amazing. I will definitely be trying that out. That's one of the Forester I just found on used cars for sale, but. I looked at it and I realized that where it was from. The one I first initially saw was like from Hawaii. I mean, it, the price was the the right price range. The um, mileage was good. But, you know, but the thing is, it just. It just was in Hawaii. No, just like it's just you and me now, Nicole. And I'm the I'm gonna get ready to call it a day. Um, for those people who was here, thank you for coming. Nicole, I see you later. Thank you for coming, and I'll be on live on Thursday. So I need to get some rest. I got a long week ahead of me. Bye. Thank you, B. Fowler. Welcome back, by the way. I didn't realize you came back, but I'm, I will see you later. Nice to see you, Bobby. See you later, Grace. See you then. Good.